James Webb continues its streak of discoveries and now has found more than 700 galaxies, something that was not discovered before. A study conducted by scientists showed galaxies that were created just a few million years after the Big Bang. The standard model of cosmology refers to this critical time period as the epoch of reionization. At the time, we thought that the universe was shrouded in a gaseous fog that prevented energetic light from passing through. Our simulations indicate that the universe didn't become transparent and clear of fog until one billion years after the Big Bang, a process known as reionization. Star production was therefore considered to be impractical during the epoch of reionization, let alone galaxies. And then, James Webb proves us wrong and changes everything. Yes, in an unexpected turn, researchers have located more than 700 potential galaxies close to the universe's edge. Between 370 million and 650 million years ago, while the universe was still young, these galaxies were discovered. These galaxies were much more numerous than anticipated, based on observations taken prior to Webb's launch. Astronomers are now able to see these far-off galaxies more clearly than ever because of the observatory's superb sensitivity and resolution. Before, the earliest galaxies we could detect only seemed as tiny smudges. But those smudges actually represent millions or possibly billions of stars at the start of the cosmos, according to a NASA scientist. At this point, it is apparent that some of them are genuinely extended objects with observable structures. Only a few hundred million years have passed since the beginning of time, and we already see constellations of stars forming. These recent discoveries give information on how the earliest galaxies and stars developed, giving rise to the extensive list of elements currently recognized in the cosmos. But more importantly, this discovery also raises the possibility that we could need to start over. And if you think this is Webb's most amazing feat yet, wait until you hear this. You are watching. Call of the Cosmos. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have discovered evidence of complex organic molecules, similar to smoke or smog, in a distant galaxy. This is the oldest known example of complex organic molecules in the universe found by humans. And what it has done is that it has pushed back the old record for detections like this by about an extra billion years. These chemicals have been detected within an early galaxy that formed when the universe was about 10% of its current age. The carbon-based molecules, technically known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are found in oil and coal deposits on Earth, as well as in smog. But what is the significance of this finding? Justin Spiker, lead astronomer of the study, makes it very clear that the molecules we found aren't simple things like water or carbon dioxide. We're talking about big, floppy molecules with dozens or hundreds of atoms in them. Isn't it remarkable that the universe could make really large and complex molecules very quickly after the Big Bang, when our models suggest that they couldn't have? Given the extreme distance of the galaxy, the light the astronomers detected began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. The universe is currently about 13.8 billion years old. We are looking at the beginning of the formation of the universe as we see it today. But here's the catch. It is because of Webb that we have been able to detect these complex organic molecules 
pushes back the old record for detections like this by about an extra billion years. Imagine if we could look farther back in time. Is it possible that we find more of these molecules, and that too, extremely close to the Big Bang? Where does that leave our science, our cosmological model? Now here's the thing. Previous efforts to detect complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only tell if the chemicals were there or not. With Webb's resolution, we can now see actual details of where within a galaxy the molecules are located. In this early galaxy, called SBT-04-1847, the presence of these molecules is not uniform and the reason for this remains to be explained. Also, this discovery proves that it is possible for galaxies to form in the early universe where much was thought to be happening. What is fascinating, however, is that the galaxy was already just as massive, and its stars have formed just as much carbon and oxygen as our own Milky Way, even though it's only a tenth the age of our galaxy. It's like a third grader who's already lived an entire career, gone to college, accomplished a career's worth of work, and then retired at age eight. And if that doesn't fascinate you, this finding also proved another of theory wrong. Scientists previously thought that these complex organic molecules were linked with star formation. However, the new data revealed this might not always prove true. Spilker and his colleagues found lots of regions with these molecules, but no star formation, and other regions with new stars forming, but none of these molecules. According to the standard model of cosmology, after the universe came out of the Big Bang, it took between 500 million to 1 billion years for the first stars to form. That, however, is changing. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. We are not just finding single stars, but clusters of them in the early universe and that has the whole scientific community stunned. So now, let's tune the telescope in to galaxies being born. And oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies in the dark ages. The star clusters in question are called globular clusters, ancient celestial enclaves born approximately 13.4 billion years ago. They are not only the most massive and ancient of star groupings, but they also possess a peculiar characteristic, compositional variation among their stars. Picture this, stars born together side by side, emerging from the same cosmic womb of collapsing gas and dust. Yet, despite their shared origins, they exhibit striking differences in the abundance of elements such as oxygen, nitrogen, sodium, and aluminium. This enigma, known as abundance anomalies, has perplexed astronomers for years, challenging their attempts to decipher the cosmic puzzle. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Now, I personally think that the solution to the problem is these are not baby galaxies at all. They're actually monstrous black holes. Black holes that formed after the instant of creation that's baffling scientists because they don't fit in the normal sequence of the birth of a galaxy. So I personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. And again, if you can figure all this out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. <laughs>
Undeterred by the challenge, the research team embarks on a quest to uncover the telltale signs of these supermassive stars. They turn to the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared vision, seeking to catch glimpses of globular clusters in their nascent stages. Through the telescope's remarkable capabilities, they peer into the distant reaches of space and fix their gaze upon GNZ-11, one of the most ancient and distant galaxies known to humankind. Situated a staggering 13.3 billion light-years away, JWST captures the galaxy in its infancy, a mere few tens of millions of years old, making it an ideal hunting ground for young globular clusters. It is the distinct nature of light that guides their investigation. Chemical elements possess unique absorption and emission patterns, leaving behind fingerprints that reveal the composition of celestial objects. The astronomers meticulously break down the light emanating from GNZ-11, unearthing two vital pieces of information that propel their quest forward. We have determined that GNZ-11 contains exceptionally high proportions of nitrogen and an abundance of stars, remarks Daniel Scherer, a distinguished member of the study team and an astronomy professor at the University of Geneva. These findings paint a vivid picture, one that suggests the birth of multiple globular clusters within GNZ-11 and the presence of active supermassive stars within them. With the James Webb Space Telescope as their guide, they will extend their gaze to distant galaxies, exploring more globular clusters and seeking patterns that affirm their theories. As humanity ventures forth into the unknown, Armed with knowledge and a thirst for understanding, we are humbled by the magnitude and complexity of the cosmos. And with each breakthrough, we inch closer to deciphering the secrets that lie hidden among the stars. With the way Webb is performing, it is only a matter of time before the universe shines in a new light. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Call of the Cosmos. Thanks for watching, we shall meet again very soon. You are watching. Call of the Cosmos.